Today's question is, Anthony, what's that poem on the board all about? A poem by Corey Craig. Push the floor to engage your core. So the, the poem up on the board, uh, Corey put one up there, and it says, you know, because it's very good, um, push the floor to engage your core. Now think about that for a second, all right? Let it kind of soak in. What does that really mean? We tell people, for almost any exercise we do, a lot of times we tell them to push the floor. And um, why do we do that? Why is that important? Well, obviously the poem says it helps engage your core. When you're doing anything, you really want to think about applying force. You want to apply force in a certain direction, right? And so if you're going to lift something off the ground, you're not really applying force only to that object, whether it's a barbell, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, sandbag, whatever. You're really applying force to the floor to push the floor down so you can bring that object up. And so when we dig in, when we do anything, let's say it's a deadlift where you have some object kind of right at your toes. You're getting set up and you're ready, your hips are pushed back, you're in a good tall posture. A lot of people will just sort of kind of yank the bag up and they'll pull with their shoulders and arch their back and really pull that weight up. But unfortunately, that's not the best way to do it. It actually makes you a little bit weaker and it can lead to really injury and stuff down the road. We want to think about pushing the floor down. And as you push it down, that object, sandbag, kettlebell, whatever is going to rise up off the ground. Because whenever we push the, the floor down, our feet have to kind of apply force and dig in and then push. And that force, really, the floor pushes back at you, it radiates up your body. So the force, now your feet are engaged. When your feet are engaged, your glutes are gonna be more engaged, and that really locks your core in. Your core is gonna be more engaged when you set up that way. And now let's think even, even beyond that, even if you're squatting, same thing. You want to push the floor down. That helps, again, engage your core. Now think about even, let's go push-ups. You're in that plank position, you're lowering your body to the floor. You want to really get those hands, dig them in and push the floor down because that's what engages that entire body and it's going to help you push away and stay tight and strong the entire time. Change your mindset from I have to pull this thing off the ground or I have to push my body to think about I have to push the floor. It might take a little bit to kind of really understand and understand what that really means, but mentally push the floor and focus on pushing away from yourself when you're doing those sort of things. That'll engage your core. That'll help really unlock strength that's in your body that you can't tap into because either you're doing it the wrong way or your mind hasn't connected those dots yet. So start pushing the floor. Try it out. See what you think. Because when you push the floor, you engage your core. Move better, train smarter. We'll see you next time.